So there is no shortage of mounts and really cool looking gadgets in Biomutant and as a matter of fact up until this point we saw at least a handful of these all with their different functionalities and gameplay purposes and honestly they all look very interesting up until this point. I can kind of see what the developers were trying to do when they implemented this. So in this video I want to go over all of the mounts and gadgets and vehicles that we had confirmed up until this point in Biomutant and a few other things on top that I think will make you spend a lot of time trying to collect these and gather as many of them as possible. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now starting things off with how mount summoning works in Biomutant, well thanks to the recent gameplay reveals and trailers we kind of have a rough idea of how that looks like and it's basically done through one of these radial menus that you can pull up at seemingly any point in the game at your own leisure and it will show all of the mounts that you have collected up until that point. Point. Now, in most of the gameplay reveals and trailers I've seen up until this point, the top icon over there with the blue horseshoe seems to deal with organic kinds of creatures and this makes me believe that these are the creatures that you can find randomly scattered in the wild or who knows, maybe in cities at some kind of mount keeper that you can purchase them from but it's very likely that you can find a ton of these out in the wild and they definitely come in multiple shapes and sizes, we saw creatures that seem to look like rams, other like horses, and there's even this cool one that was revealed recently that looks so really outlandish and awesome, and again, like the world of Biomutant is filled with really interesting creatures, so it's likely that we will be able to tame at least a few of these and utilize them as mounts. But I do want to cover one aspect that I haven't seen anybody covering before, which is the fact that some of these mounts seem to have particular skills or abilities that others don't don't have like in one of these shots against one of the war leaders we can see that this particular mount which we saw in different other scenes against the same world leader in previous trailers and gameplay footage um yeah this mount is able to utilize some kind of rope mechanic or maybe some kind of grappling hook that seems to um, be aimed towards immobilizing the target in this case that world leader so it might play a gameplay role over there when you're fighting against that boss but it's not the only one that seems to be unique compared to other types of mount creatures. There's two more that actually are even more unique because they also have their own um, unique slots in the radial menu. One of them we saw being revealed recently which is the Bat Mount or the Bat Nam Nam. Um, yeah, that's its full name by the way. And it seems to be one of the few mounts in the game that gives you access to flying or at the very least gliding because we haven't seen any flying footage of it until now but we did see quite a bit of gliding with this particular mount. The next one that we haven't seen any footage up until this point, at least from my knowledge, is the Peewee Gargantua, which is most likely going to be aquatic related. Kinda looks like a breed of shark or maybe a whale, it should be a whale to be honest and it's likely going to be something that will help you traverse waters a little bit better, though I will say that it's not the same with the squid underwater mechanical kind of mount that we saw in some of the early trailers, that seems to be a completely different kind of mount or vehicle that we will be able to use against a different world leader, so I don't think it's the same one, I think that these two are completely different from one another. But creature mounts are not the only ones in the game and as a matter of fact there's well still the question of vehicles and more important the gadgets that we've seen quite a number of in the game up until this point. Now gadgets are usually the ones that you use at any point without actually summoning them, you just have them equipped on your character from what it seems and there's about three of these that we saw up until this point. One of them is the glider which we saw in many of the shots in the game seems to be the best way to maybe like get down out of high places or maybe just like reach um, down faster and not like collapse or like fall to your death. It also looks really awesome and kind of lets you survey the entire area ahead of you and honestly it looks really awesome. It did seem to suffer some changes over the years because initially it was worn on your back but now it seems that you're um, kind of like holding your hands onto it and kind of like gliding and like falling slowly to the ground. 
around. But there's another one that seemed even cooler, and this is the reason why I made the comparison with Ratchet and Clank. And recently we saw the gameplay footage with what appears to be a helicopter backpack that yeah, you don't have to summon, you just jump in the air and it deploys and apparently it lets you levitate for a little bit longer until you get back to the ground. It looks really awesome, I really like to see something like this more of in games like these because I just like, like jetpack ideas or helicopter backpacks, I just enjoy these so freaking much. But it's not the only one, we have one last that there's a small glimpse of, I'm not really sure if people even miss this or not, but at one point point in the world trailer they showed this backpack which appears to look kind of like a briefcase or maybe like a small bookcase yeah it jumps in the air it deploys it and it kind of acts like a levitation device kind of like a levitating rock but in this case it's a briefcase so again it looks really awesome it's likely one of those items that you equip on your character and then it gives you that functionality so you don't have to summon it you just jump it deploys and use it simple as that now these are just the gadgets by the way there's still the question of the vehicles and i want to talk about the vehicles because these seem to have the most to them they both fit a gameplay role they protect you against certain hazards and more important they are the only ones that seemingly have upgrades and unlockables to them. Now, one of the more important ones that we've seen as early as 2016 is the Macton, which is this exoskeleton bipedal like mech suit that you can use to protect yourself against environmental hazards, especially when going like near power plants or areas that have been hit by some kind of biological disaster. It protects you against those hazards and it doesn't just stop there. Now, it does seem to come in with its own upgrade system or at the very least customization system because in many of these shots um, this mech suit seems to appear slightly altered like it might have a different kind of backplate or maybe a different kind of headpiece and yeah in many of these situations it seems that it does have certain components on it that are different from one trailer to another. But it doesn't just fit that role, of course you do have the upgrades, it also fits the role of clearing pets ahead so you can actually absorb the pollution ahead, like for example this toxic sludge, you can absorb it with its, uh, well with one of its arms at the very least and you can clear the area ahead so that you can move on ahead and um, traverse into the next one. But it also fits a combat purpose because we saw plenty of of gameplay footage of the mech suit being more than capable of taking down enemies like you have that gatling gun slash shotgun sort of um, yeah gun attached to your right arm which definitely seems to fit that role i wonder if there's any others in there that you can use it also seems to have jetpacks on its back so it's likely going to be able to like jump or maybe even levitate for a little bit but we're gonna see that in the full game another one is the jet ski or the goo glide as we saw in the radial mech Menu. and this is basically your boat so to speak your fast boat it fits a number of purposes one of which is well not drowning it's going to protect you against that you don't have to like swim you just use this and probably reach areas that are completely unaccessible unless you travel by sea. It's also very likely that this will have its own upgrades as we did see different versions of this Google Glide with different components, with different videos and trailers, so it's likely going to have some unlockables in there as well. But the last couple of vehicles are also the most unique and unfortunately we haven't seen extensive footage of this until this point, only bits and pieces, but they do seem very interesting. And I was talking about flying mounts, well there is actually a way to fly in the game but that is done through this vehicle which we now know is called the gold blimp which yeah it's a blimp kind of vehicle apparently there's an anchor on the side of it which you use to actually go back to the ground level and travel on foot and leave the blimp behind but it's likely going to be the way you access it back again if you want to like jump onto it and whatnot the last one is going to be that kind of like hand robotic hand finger looking contraption that just looks so unique. It's one of the most unique mounts or vehicles 
I have seen so far in any RPG I've played and just like other mounts in there it has additional functionalities which in this case come in the form of combat functionalities so one of them yeah it forms this pistol with the hand and it actually shoots from its pointer finger and it shoots into the enemies and deals damage which seems very useful and then there's also the ability to pounce onto targets and also deal damage like that from a melee range so a really versatile vehicle to have as you get both melee and range damage on top of the fact that you can utilize it as a mount again really surprised at how many of these mounts have unique cool functionalities that are related to in-game mechanics so I cannot wait for the game to come out and cover these for you guys so if you want to see more Biomutant here on this channel definitely make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe and activate that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one